Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of, oddly enough, one of my red description boxes called Red Bird Vintage. I say oddly enough because um, every now and then I do um, sort of um, present some guest boxes and indeed there will be a guest box um, coming relatively soon in the next month or so so keep an eye out on that it's one that I've done before um, but only back when I was in the UK and they were, I think they recently started doing international shipping no doubt there'll be custom charges etc but anyway um, I will present that to you um, when it arrives however this is one of my red descriptions called Redbird Vintage Box. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a box full of vintage items. Basically things like um, jewellery, trinkets, scarves, that kind of thing. Um, this is what they call a Marie Accessories Box, which is available um, to ship overseas. It's an American description. If you have a look on their website, they also provide, they also um, they also offer one-off vintage um, clothing boxes, which I think is about $150, something like that. Have a look. And they have a couple of other um, types of boxes as well. But anyway, this is the one that they ship overseas. As I say, it's the Marie's Accessory Box. I've had this for quite some time now. I'd say it's my favourite subscription box. Um, when you do fit, when you do um, subscribe to this box, and I thoroughly recommend you do, um, if you like vintage things, they, 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 they do expect you to fill in a, a, um, a survey questionnaire where you say what kind of um, items you're interested in, are you interested in rings, are you interested in um, earrings, that kind of thing, and what kind of period you'd be interested in. You know, some people would say that the 1970s and 80s are vintage, I would disagree with that. Um, so I say like 40s, 50s and 60s and whether um, I'm only interested in original pieces or reproduction. Now I filled in that survey a long time ago but so I can't remember. The only thing that I did do fairly recently is to ask them not to send me any more clip-on earrings because it really hurt my ears. Anyway. So I love the way that it's always um, packaged. And they also have like a cute little extra here. Sometimes it's a clip-on earring, sometimes it's a brooch, and it's just like sort of holds together like a ribbon. I can see this time it's brooch. <coughs> I've been coughing recently, it's a bit annoying. Um, don't think it's COVID. Who knows, right, so. Let's see if I can get this. Um, there you go. So in this in itself is very pretty. I'm quite likely to wear it. Lovely, um, lovely blue, and it's got some markings on there as well. I can get my camera to play. There you go. And that's very cute, and you can see. Excuse my chips and nails. There you go. So that's very cute. They also always send you this with um, like a nice little um, thing on the back there. It says was cleaning out earrings and included a bunch of extras for you. I hope you love your box. And I always love that they write a, um, a personalised message. So let's have a look. It comes in a little baggie like this. I've got loads of these little baggies now, I don't know what to do with them. You usually get like four or five items. And there's low um, but again it just depends on um, on the value of the items. I think how old they are, how worn they are. And then but these are all second hand vintage items, I don't expect them to be in pristine condition. Um, so, for example, I'll just give you an example of this. This is a nice pair of earrings, but I've noticed that the cameo has become unstuck on one of them. So this is the one that's not unstuck. 
They never like these. But the other one I've noticed has become unstuck. And um, that's not a difficult thing to um, address. But they're very cute um, earrings. Lovely ring here. I have fairly small ha um, fingers. And so I think they probably, and I do, but I do like rings, and I think they probably find it difficult to find to get me rings that will fit. But this is a really nice one. Um, so it's quite big here, but you can, um, it's one of those adjustable ones that I can squeeze in so it fits me. I should do that later. That's a really nice big ring. Some more earrings. These are cute little balls. And they're joined together so I don't lose them, I guess. They are adorable, aren't they? Two different patterns. These aren't earrings, this is a necklace. It's very 1960s one would suggest here. With an interesting clasp that should be quite easy to put on. She says you never never very good at putting this on, but anyway, you can see how nice it is. Maybe it's going to um, to wear today. So I really like that. I like the, um, the green. Also something else here. Do so you get the idea? When you're all in these little bags here to protect them. This is very cute. This is like a choker. Very nice colours. I do like the colours in this. Very vibrant. Mm. I don't know why I hum. I don't hum when I do things at work as well, and you're showing people how to do things. Mm. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, it's another choker, I think. Another vibrant colours. Another one of vibrant colours rather. This is an interesting thing here. Oh, these are earrings. Like, like a bunch of, uh, like a bunch of grapes. Kind of cute. If you have a look, it's um, it's got like bottles and things. So let me see and get the uh, get it shown properly. Apologies. You can see all the different shapes. That's very cute. Got two of those, obviously. It's rather nice. Another nice big earring. Lovely colour, two of those. And this is the bunch of earrings I threw together in the bag with extra ones. Lovely patterning on that one. And you can um, and get my camera do its thing. I just use a phone camera, there's nothing fancy in what I do for my channel at all. Quite lazy, I could do more with it and get like lots of views and stuff but um, you know, who's got time for that? And then there's this, this is really cute. 
So like a whole bunch of earrings there, all very cute. Um, I do like wearing earrings. So I've no doubt they'll all have an elephant at some point. And I've got one more. One more ring. I love these big pieces. These little pieces are really great. So uh, again, something that um, could be adjustable. I've got such small hands, but um, there you go. I would put that one on a different um, than my feet, and it's still huge. But you can always adjust these things, she says. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy that. I always enjoy my Redbird Vintage. Um, I can say it's always my favourite box. Um, obviously, um, with them being vintage pieces, they're always going to be very original. If you like this sort of thing, I, I would honestly recommend that you take a look. And um, because you know, you're not going to get these items in the shops now, are you? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back soon with um, yet another unboxing video. Bye for now.